Greetings and welcome back to Robocraft and to a new garage. Now, if you are joining me from episode 113, then you'll know what I intend to build. But if not, then uh, I am going to be working on a new bot, a specifically a SMG Cruiser in tier 10 or possibly tier 9, depending on where things go. Uh, I'm going to be using full stop just to rise that up. It's still a... Uh, a shortcut that not too many people seem to uh, know exists. You can press full stop and comma to, to raise the blocks up and down. Now, my goals here are to make a an objective capturing SMG. So, the SMG specifically because it's got pinpoint accuracy. So, I can very cleanly cut away the crystals. But I suppose I could set it up for a uh, plasma build if I really wanted to. But the overall goal here is to have something very, very fast. So we don't want to uh, make this bot too big. But at the same time, I do have a kind of a, a love affair with, with having a triangular-shaped bot. So the, the front wheels much closer to the nose than the rear wheels. And also having a pair of drive wheels in the middle. Honestly, you could probably do this without going uh, with th with this setup and in fact it might actually be hurting me not helping but damn it it looks good and as we all know i like to make things that look good even if that makes them less efficient now as regarding the the video itself as i mentioned in episode 113 where i uh, decide to build this bot i want to start playing around with building and battling in different videos, primarily because the battles themselves take so long in the new meta of the game, in, in the new kind of uh, lay of the land, and I, I'm really enjoying playing the new game modes, and I, I wouldn't want to have to, uh, to stop that. So this is going to be probably a, a bit of a test, but I'm hoping it's going to work well, and if it does, it'll, it'll be a new format that I'll probably stick with. The idea being that I'll build... Uh, sorry, I'll I'll decide on what I'm going to build in one video, then I'll kind of cut to another video where the building is all going to take place, and I can uh, be a little bit more free with my time and testing without concerns of running too long with the build phase and thus not having enough time then left to uh, properly explore the bot in battle. And also, I'll be able to use these videos as, as kind of a build tutorial. They won't quite be as build tutorial-esque as my other build tutorials, but hopefully they'll still serve the purpose adequately. Uh, you know what, we'll actually fill that in. All right, so here we go. We've got a bit of a skeleton. Now, we want this bot to be, be pretty fast, so really having this set up in this way is possibly a bad idea, but... Again, I, I find it hard not to. I like having bots with this kind of shape. Um, very insect -like shape. And I realize I do it almost every build. I, I can't help it. I like this shape with, with the robots that I make. Now, we're going to want some high-tier radar jamming. Honestly, it would be good if I could get all tier, three, uh, tier 9s down here, like three of them just running along. Because three is the optimum number. After three, you're no longer getting any advantage from radar jammers. So uh, having three of the highest tier ones seems to make a lot of sense to me. So that's going to give me the maximum amount of radar jamming that I can hope for. Now, I like to rise the wheels like this because it gives me uh, a, a few more options when it comes to moving around and going over uneven terrain. Also, it gives me a couple of different placement options for thrusters. And we are definitely going to want this vehicle to be fast. It's one of its primary requirements is that it be incredibly quick. Um, let's just bring this down there and see if we can't have another one. Oh, actually, we can fit it in there. That's fine. Okay, so we've got a decent bit of T10 thrust there. And we're going to connect this up like so. There we go. 
We're also going to want plenty of thrust at the top as well. We're going to want shields. Now, in the latest update, we have much more of a selection when it comes to shields in tier 10. And I think this is glorious. Unfortunately, I don't have enough uh, tech points to really unlock a lot of these. So we're going to probably have to do this with the old-fashioned way without the, the glorious different shapes of tier 10 shields. But I have got a few unlocks, or rather one pair, I suppose I should say. Um, we'll bring that together, then taper this off over here. Creating a bit of a cage for our underbelly, so that it's a little bit more difficult for enemies to just shoot in there. There we go. That, that doesn't look too bad. Now, having all of the threats at the bottom, I think it is potentially a bad move, as it will tend to give you the tendency to try and take off effectively. So that's why I've built up these, uh, that's why I shaped that so much, is so that I can have the thrusters along the sides as well. But we are really, really going to need to uh, have a think about how we're going to armor this. Now, I really would like to try out some of the new shields, uh, or rather just the shield play specifically because shields are now significantly more useful in that they scale up with their shield protection in the, the later tiers uh, of overclocking, which frankly is, is almost overpowered if you ask me, but in the best, most awesome possible way. Uh, let's get this around. I, I like the fact that shields have a purpose again because I was really starting to steer clear of them simply because it was like well they don't get better they just get a better recharge rate but honestly that isn't enough of a reason to have the frankly impossible cost for equipping them because they got heavier um so you didn't want them on flyers for example because they they were so heavy they made balancing the flyer really difficult but now they get better at being defensive over time, they've suddenly got a new lease on life, in my opinion. Um, much needed new lease on life. Uh, you know what? Let's just connect that part. There we go. In fact, I could go ahead and connect it all. There we are. That actually looks quite nice. So we've got a little, little bit of a lattice work there for us to start building on. What we're going to build on, I'm not sure. But uh, we've got it there, and that's a good thing, I'm sure. Right, we want radar receiver, I think. We can house that at the back without too much trouble. And then a radar somewhere else. I want a good good E-War suite for this bot. Have the radar there, and then we want the pilot seat. Ooh, we don't have a pilot seat. What? When, when the blocks are free, I really do... It's like, why are you making me go through the rigmarole of purchasing it? It's free. <laughs> You say so yourself. It costs nothing. Why are you making me go through this? Oh, you scallywags. There we go. Let's uh, build that up a little bit. Ah, no, we're going to have to have that there. Okay, well, that's fine. Now, I'm not thinking of having my cockpit open with this design. I often go for an open cockpit, but uh, in this case, I would rather not. And I guess, in a way, I'm channeling the design of the Solnopsis and Wichter a little bit with this, but uh, I like this cockpit shape. I, I really, really, really like it. So we're gonna, gonna go with this. Um, we'll have just a regular couple of cubes there. So there we are. Now we want to build out and around here to kind of cradle our radar receiver, unfortunately. Oh man, it's it's really, really big. It's taken a huge amount of cubes to just go around it. That's not really what I wanted to do. I, and I'm also aware that I, I more or less built the uh, Solenopsis and Wichter in this way with the uh, radar receiver hidden at the back. But uh, again, I, my goal here isn't to build the Solenopsis and Wichter. It's not to have a super, super tanky bot. And I need to remind myself of that. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm at risk of trying to make one subconsciously. So Let's build these out. So have some nice, interesting shapes. Uh, about there. Yes, that'll do. There we go. 
Right, well, we'll leave the radar receiver as is. Um, there's not much we can do with that. But I do want to have one on this bot, because I feel it's going to be important for me to know where my enemies are likely going to spring up and uh, try and take me out. As an objective capturing bot, I suspect that we're going to have quite a lot of battles with the enemies as they try to prevent me from uh, scuppering their plans, capturing their towers, what have you. Now we're going to want some weapon placements up around here, I'm thinking. I'm probably not going to go with the uh, TX weapons. I, I don't, don't think so, not for this bot. Uh, ooh. You know what, if I drive this forward a little bit and, and kind of release my tendency to try and create the shape from the Solon Oxygen Wichter, then I can have a gun down here. Oh, that's good. I like that. I like that a lot. You know what, have I got a carbon 6 cube somewhere? Mm. Let's see if I can't buy the car. There we are, we'll go with the carbon 6 6. For no particular reason. But uh, we'll just have that there. <laughs> there we go. It seems to like a good place to put it. Uh, no, actually, thinking about it, it isn't a good place to put it. I lied. What we can put there, though, and I know, I know, everyone's going to be like, "Ah, oh, you're putting lights on your vehicle. How are you meant to be stealthy? It's like, come on. It's like it's like its eye. It's a Cyclopean SMG um, tower capturer. Glorious, I tell you. Right, we are going to need to start thinking about shields and also the remainder of my weapon systems, which are probably going to be best placed down along here, I'm thinking. We'll keep that radar more or less hidden back here, I think, where it's going to be nice and safe. There we go. Yeah, we'll build that out. There we are. And we'll have one laser down there. Then about here, I would say, is probably going to be the next best place for me to have connections like that. So how about I shape this a little bit more? There we are. Can this come up? Yes, it can. Fantastic. So we'll make uh, some limbs over here as well, just for the last pair of SMGs. I want to go out with a full complement of six SMGs for this vehicle. There we are. Not too bad. Now to try and work out... Where on earth are we going to put shields? Because we need them. There is no two ways about that. This this vehicle is flat out going to need shielding. Um, that's interfering with the gun itself. But if I rose the gun just a tad, it might not be so bad. In fact, maybe if I just... Hmm. If I rose this gun, would it interfere with the other guns? No, it wouldn't. But it probably would if I put it all the way back there. Still. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. I like that. Because that means I can place my tier 10 shields possibly on there. Okay. See, how far back can I push these? Can I get them nestled in? I can. Oh, I can. Really? That's fantastic. I approve. Let's get this... And I get it over here. Yes, I can. Oh, that's glorious. That gives me a fair chunk of defense there. This shield has... Um, let's have a look at the actual shields. 25,000. Overclocked shield at tier 13, I imagine, 45,000. The recharge time at, tier at uh, level 13 will be 6 seconds. An overclock recharge time is 0 0.5... Uh, sorry, cooldown time, 6 seconds. I wonder what the cooldown time is for a shield. Uh, that is what the cooldown time does. Uh, I've not actually thought of that before. Right, let's uh, build this out a little bit at the front. A little bit more. We need those beak beaks on our vehicles, otherwise it just doesn't feel right. There we go. There we are. Right, now the really nice thing about the uh, tier 9 shields is that at the higher tiers, you can get the smaller shields, but in tier 10 varieties. 
so they are especially capable of deflecting damage. I'm basically funneling the damage into my bot there is kind of exactly the opposite of what I want to do. <laughs> as amusing as it was for a second. No, I mean, that's good and all, but it's going forwards and I need to come... I need it to curve together at the front rather than curve away, which is a bit of a shame. However, let's see what we can do with these at the back, shall we? We could have possibly a shield somewhere around here. Maybe helping with... Uh, let's build this out, perhaps. Is that too far out? No, it was just far out enough. Just to cover some of my uh, rear... My thrusters, specifically. Uh, okay, let's build this up as well. We've got a little bit of CPU to play with currently, so we don't have to worry too much. The nice thing about being in tier 10 is you can typically build fairly large and intricate designs. Uh, let's build this back, come to think of it. There we go. And connect it up there. Alright. Now, I'm not sure how fast this vehicle is going to be. And I realise that having a tier 7 shield on a tier 10 bot is next to useless. But if I... At least place the shields there. See, I've got them. It's not like I'm losing anything for using them. But uh, also, if I place the shields there, then later on when I have the the correct shields, the correct shield types, I can just replace those shapes with the tier 10 variants. Which makes an awful lot of sense to me. Right, let's uh, also connect that up there. I'm a little bit concerned about this this section here, honestly. So how about we build this up and just try to... No, I want that staggered a little bit, otherwise it looks a bit too severe. Uh, bring that back. Let's go for the armoured inners here. There we are, and then the tetras as well. Okay, not too bad, and we could also have the armoured inners down there as well. Yeah, I, I kind of like that, actually. Uh, as for down here, probably don't need this. Now then, where are we going to put all of the really, really important stuff, like the flags? Can't go out without flags. Can have a flag there on either side. Yes, I like it. Can we fit one in there? No. We can have some flags there. Ah, oh, glorious. We can have the supporter gold badge. Uh, could I sneak it in here somewhere? I could. Okay, not too bad. Um, and, of course, we need the vapor trails. There we go. It is losing a lot of its sneakiness, I grant you. But, damn it if it doesn't look good. Uh, how much are those? Uh, they're quite expensive. And I have no idea where that is on my other bot, so I'm not going to bother trying to hunt for it. But I'm fairly happy with what we've done here. It's, it's not... Amazingly tanky. It'll be able to take a couple of shots, especially where, where I've got my shields, but the wheels are going to be, well, let's be honest with ourselves, they are going to be easy to take to take care of. Um, there's one thing I could perhaps do, and that is to have the wheel, uh, some additional wheels set up down here, perhaps. I'm not sure how close I would need to be. But let's see. Could I fit that there? I could. Could I fit it one further out? That would allow me to fortify a little bit more. I could not. Very well. I'm okay with that. We'll take those wheels at the front there. Okay, so we've gone from six-wheeled to eight-wheeled. It's not a bad little bot. I'm practically at the maximum for my CPU. And I'm level 98, so this is almost the maximum of all CPU you could have. Now, we've still got a lot of tier space, though. I guess that would that would change if I added um, the tier 10 v versions of the shield. Yeah, there's no way. It was worth it. It was worth finding out. Come on, admit it. Um, but 
how much CPU do you require? 24. How much have we got? We've not got even remotely enough. If I got rid of the wheels at the front, I could probably have a, a Tesla blade at the front. Um... No, I don't... Well, that said, maybe we will be charging into people. But first, let's go to the practice grounds and just see if this even works. Because I've, I've gone ahead and I've built the entire thing, more or less, without practicing once. So I have no idea how this is going to control. And if I need to change anything, I'm going to need to change quite a lot of things for that to work. We are not fast. We are incredibly slow. And we managed to beat ourselves straight away. Oh, dear God. This is the polar opposite of fast. All of my plans. Oh, yeah, I'm going to make a fast bot. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to make a slow as molasses bot. Because I'm going to cover it in armor. And shields. Ah, yes. The shields, of course. That makes a lot of sense. Silly Avak is silly. Okay, well, well, that said... I'm, I'm slow, I'm not fast. But I'm not as slow as I thought I was. I, I really do actually need a way to work out how quickly I'm moving. Quite badly, in fact. Hmm. Still, I'm not adverse to having a slower bot than I envisioned, as long as it still performs well in its primary purpose, and that is getting into uh, the capture points, but the speed is really something you need for that. Let's see if I can't uh, fit on a couple of more thrusters. We've got more to play with, so there's absolutely no reason not to. Let's see. I'm going to have to sacrifice... Ooh, I've not got any more tier 10s, but I've got some tier 9s. There's... How much are these? Um, 18 P flops. We're going to have to sacrifice shields. Don't need these. Let's get you nestled in there. Oops. And you the same on that side. We've got quite a lot of room for extra thrusters, actually. Uh, yeah, let's go and see how much we've we got. We've got 500,000. Yeah, we'll take five. And let's start changing things up a tad here and there. Okay. <laughs> That is remarkably vulnerable. That said, without the shield, I kind of need the extra wheels in a way. Um, just to safeguard against them all getting blown off. But this is becoming much, much less of what I was intending to build. Oh, it always happens that way. Do we have room underneath? No, not really. We've already used up all the room underneath. I guess I could fit something way back there if I really tried hard. But that would have to be one of these. Oh, no, never mind. We are actually at our limit. Never mind then. Okay, well, that's given us a reasonable addition of thrust. So let's see how that performs. Though the, the loss of the shields at the front... Oh, my lord, this this SMG cruiser is going to die. Okay, it's still not that fast, actually. Really not that fast. I guess, when you think about it, anything that, that drives is not going to have the best speeds. For that, you kind of want sleds. And maybe making a sled is not a bad idea, but uh, it's not going to be for this bot. Right, let's see where we can go. Uh, perhaps I should have some steering thrusters, come to think of it. Because at least that would allow me to uh, turn if my bot took enough damage. And lost uh, its steering wheels. But uh, I'm actually not too dissatisfied with what we've got. Certainly, I'm happy to take this out and see how it can do, but I've got a funny feeling this is going to basically pop the moment something looks at it funny. 
At least until it's over clocked a few levels and then it might actually have a little bit of more survivability mostly in the fact that it'll be able to kill things before they can uh, do enough damage to it but still not incredibly happy with this let's see how it does off cliffs uh, okay it rolls very well I approve we approve with rolling cars off cliffs that is not a bad thing and I guess we might as well test this. I doubt it, though. This just feels far too heavy to be able to do something like that. No. No way are we getting up there. Okay. Well, uh... Baby steps, everyone. I'm gonna have to try and get myself into the headspace of making fast, light, agile bots. They, they, this doesn't come easily to me. As we've all seen, I was basically fighting against myself to not recreate the solar opposite in Wichter with this bot. And I've managed to managed to stick myself in here. Ah, really? You scallywag. Okay, well, you're a bit of a hodgepodge of a bot. I, I agree. Still, I'm interested in seeing how well you can do. So, uh, on that note, we're going to take this bot over to episode 113 and take it out in a couple of battles. However, before we do that, let's, uh, let's name you. Uh, you, you are a hodgepodge. So I think that's what your name's going to be. Hodgepodge. There you go, hodgepodge. Welcome to the fleet, you weird little bot, you. But on that note, we are going to wrap up this build episode. So I'm going to hop over to episode 113 and take the hodgepodge out for a couple of battles. I'll drop a little annotation on the screen so that you can follow me if you would like to, or if you just came here to see <laughs> how I put this crazy bot together. Well, I uh, hope it didn't disappoint you. Uh, basically, I failed at what I was aiming to do. That's how this bot came into existence. Still, I, I love it as if it were my own, because it, actually it is my own, so... Uh, just as well, I love it, because probably no one else will. But uh, on that note, I am off. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.